Hi, my name is Laurel Ellis. I'm an Assemblies of God missionary in Cuenca, Ecuador. Cuenca is a 463 year old city of 650,000 people nestled high in the Andes mountain at 8,400 feet and just 300 miles south of the equator. Until the 1990s, there were few born again Christians here, but now it is estimated that 10% of the population is Christian but that means that there's still 90% who need to know Jesus. I'm part of a missionary team, some working in church planting and others working at the television station, Uncion TV, a community station with family programming. Through Uncion TV and their outreach program, Uncion Plus, over 2,500 people received Christ in 2019. My primary focus is church planting and I have taught classes to local pastors and leaders who desire to plant churches. I've also been asked to help promote church planting in the Southern Andean area of Ecuador, as well as with the missionaries in the country. COVID has slowed progress, but nothing will stop God from building his church. Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Not COVID and not a lack of finances. But Jesus also said, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Pray therefore to the Lord of the harvest to send workers into his harvest field. My perception here in Cuenca is that the harvest is ripe, ready to be harvested. Hearts are opened, but we need more laborers. Pray with me for these workers, people who will lay down their lives to build God's church. Marlene is a university professor who teaches a cooking class on Uncion TV. She, along with other women from the station, attend a weekly Bible study that Becky Davis, a missionary colleague, and I lead. Marlene has been attending faithfully and has grown so much in her faith. This week, her oldest daughter landed in the hospital after having a convulsion in the night and falling out of bed and hitting her head. She is having tests to see what is going on. Marlene texted me, quote, before I left the house, I had so much strength that gives me certainty that God is working in my daughter. I know he has the power." Unquote. My life story of sudden widowhood has also been a bridge to help many widows, among whom is Julia, who just this week accepted Jesus as her savior. God has used me to empower local pastors to believe for greater things, to counsel pastoral couples in trouble. God seems to use me to encourage others. Lastly, I just want to say a huge gracias for your love, your faithful support, and for your intercession. These past three years have been challenging to say the least, but God, only with God's strength, God's anointing, God's empowerment, his wisdom and love, am I able to minister as he asks. Please continue to pray not only for me, but for my sons, their wives, and my grandson, when they're okay, I'm okay, if you know what I mean. Pray that God will fulfill his purposes for them. God bless you guys. Thank you.